So Iris is sick and this close to Christmas too. Shake your <laughs> Oh look it's snowing. I think we're gonna have a white Christmas. Actually, I think the last couple times we came home for Christmas in Minnesota, it wasn't a white Christmas, was it? I don't know. Was it last year? There haven't been a lot of white Christmases. I mean, we came back multiple years and there was no snow. That's funny. <laughs> John was filming some fishing videos in Northfield, so he's got all his fishing stuff here. Yeah, a great walleye fishing video. Well, it wasn't in Northfield, but it was southern Minnesota. I don't like to give out my fishing spots. But uh, the walleye fishing was amazing. We were catching like everywhere from 17 to 24 inch walleyes in southern Minnesota and that is awesome. Look who's hiding behind you. I don't think she found it yet today. Where's Jerry? Where's Jerry today? Do you know where Jerry is? I know. Where did Jerry, where's Jerry hiding? Just keep on looking. <laughs> hmm, Jerry's not in the tree anymore. Where could Jerry be? Where do you think Jerry is? I don't know. Keep looking. Where's Jerry? I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna have to find her today. So here I am doing that last minute Christmas shopping thing and it looks like I'm not the only one because there sure are a lot of people out for a noon on a weekday. So um, yeah, I'm gonna buy some Christmas presents for my family today. My dad, he's really easy to shop for. He never really wants more than a sweater. Um, if you, he's, he's, he's the type of person that likes to give more than receive. If you buy him anything else, he's like, hey, I don't have room in my house for this. So um, yeah, he really just likes sweaters. Um, my brother, I'm gonna get him a bucket of fidget spinners. <laughs> um, my sister, I want to get her something that has to do with traveling because she loves to travel so much. She's going to go to India now again soon. She's already been to India before. So that's what I hope to find, something that symbolizes traveling. Maybe something that's like decorative for her dorm room. And then my mom, I'm going to look around for, um, for something that says, oh yeah, this is what my mom wants. Because my mom also has a lot of stuff, so... I don't really know off the top of my head what would be great, like something's not jumping out at me, like, oh, this would be perfect for my mom. So I hope that it's something that once I see it, I see it and I'll know. So here we go, ho, 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 Christmas shopping. What's the rule on parking in wintry states? If the parking spots are covered up with snow, do you just kind of guess? I mean, the lines, you know? Um, yeah, I parked and I couldn't really see anything. And then when I got out of the car, I could see the lines and I was like, well, I am kind of parked like an a-hole. I guess I can back up and move, but maybe people don't care because when it's winter, it's like, what can you do? For my sister, I was thinking maybe like jewelry, jewelry with an airplane on it would be really cute, but I haven't really seen any anywhere. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Are you shoveling the driveway? <laughs> I come home to this and Iris is shoveling the driveway with John. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's so cute. It's actually pretty helpful. Are you a helpful kid? Are you a good helper? Wow. Oh, there you go. How many shovels do we have? So I got most of my Christmas shopping done today. I still might pick up a couple extra things along the way, but John went down to Northfield again because um, his mom is gonna watch Thor and Kenobi for us um, because we're gonna have one early Christmas up at with John's dad and his stepmom up at the cabin. And so we don't wanna overwhelm our house sitter and John's mom really likes having the dogs around. So she's gonna take Thor and Kenobi and then the rest of the animals are gonna be here. So I'm trying to get like some of the stuff situated and ready. I have my shopping bags sitting on the bench over here. And I am folding some laundry and gonna get it put away. I love looking at this Christmas tree. I'm not ready to take it down in a few days, no. Oh no, I think I have a fever. Oh, I don't feel so good. 
Do I have a fever? No. Nope. I don't? I'm healthy? Yeah. <gasps> I don't have to go to the doctor? No. Nope. <gasps> oh good. I'm so happy that I have you, Dr. Iris. Oh, I need it again. Thank you. What is it? It's a medicine. Oh, it's just medicine? Yeah. This is actually a thermometer. It says how hot you are. It makes me cold enough and don't like your little game. <laughs> okay, so Iris's favorite song right now is T Swift. She likes, look what you made me do. And she sings it all the time. <laughs> That's what she was just saying to you. I don't like your little games. I don't trust nobody and nobody trusts I me. Like your little cake, no. Like your little bats, no. Like your little bats. I don't like your little bats. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yep. Does it make you feel better? Mm-hmm. That's good. It's good to get something in your tummy when you're sick. Who you... that make me sick? Who made you sick? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd like to know too, so I can shake them down. So, Iris is sick. And this close to Christmas too. Such a bummer. Um, I was up with her last night until 5.30 in the morning. She couldn't sleep. She was throwing up last night and she had a fever. She hasn't thrown up today yet, but she still had a fever last time I checked her temperature. Not crazy high, it was 100.5, but I gave her some Tylenol and she's actually napping right now, which is good. But um, yeah, I was just kind of a zombie today because I was up so late with my poor sick little baby. Uh, I hope she gets better. I'm just gonna have her rest as much as possible today. We were going to actually go to the lake. We were gonna leave for the cabin, but we decided to postpone that and hopefully she's better by tomorrow and we can go up for the Christmas celebration up there. But yeah, just hopefully she gets better. I have eucalyptus and lemongrass pumping into the air in our house. There's one in her bedroom too with her napping. That's supposed to help colds and flus. So while Iris was taking a nap, I got my nails done. And have you guys ever seen this cat eye nail polish before? It's brand new, I guess. I thought they looked kind of cool. I was looking through the swatches and I saw this color on there. And so I picked this one, but it turns out they were like $10 more than regular nails and I didn't know. So I accidentally just spent a lot getting my nails done. And, uh, but they look pretty cool. It's like iridescent. What they do is they put this nail polish on and then they hold a magnet over each one of your nails and the magnet makes it change colors and get the little line on it. You guys are so weird. Why? <laughs> because I'm like sitting here vlogging about my nails and then you guys just sat down at the table across from me and started staring at me. We need to talk. What do we need to talk about? Your grades. My grades? What are, do you think, Iris? Aren't I doing well in school? She seems like she's feeling better after her nap. She the temperature, but... She, she does? She said she's feeling a little better. I got some food and some liquids into her. That's good. Iris, I like your spider shirt. Did you pick that one today? Yeah. Ooh. Dad did pick it. Oh, did he? Hi, Bill. Meow. Hi, Simon Wyman. Iris didn't really eat anything yesterday, and then she wouldn't eat anything all morning. And then finally, at about 2.30, I offered her ice cream. I said, Iris, will you eat some ice cream? You know, just to get something in her stomach. And she was like, yeah, of course I'll eat ice cream. So I'm glad that John got some healthy food into her too. Well, it is always nice to be home. So we are just gonna wind down the night here. Nikki went to bed early. She was uh, up taking care of sick Iris, which is just horrible. Um, you know, I got Nikki's message in the morning that Iris was sick and I just felt so bad for little Iris, but she's feeling a lot better. She's on the mend and I don't even know how she got sick, but I guess that's kids, right? Good morning, everyone. We are cabin bound up to Wisconsin. We're gonna have an early Christmas celebration on the lake with family. And little Lola is coming with us. 
Yes, Lola's going to go to the cabin and snuggle up in bed and sleep the whole time. Iris, do you know what I heard? There's a lot of snow at the cabin. More snow than that's at our house. Have you guys ever had a Golden Graham bar? I love these so much, it takes me back. I remember that you used to be able to get them in packs at the grocery store. I don't know if you still can, I just haven't seen them in years. But I would eat these after I came home from school when I was a kid. And not every gas station has Golden Graham bars, but the gas station that we just went to did. And mm, I'm like, I have to get one. It takes me way back to my childhood. Look at that goodness. Golden Graham cereal, marshmallows, chocolate. Oh, it's kind of like a s'mores. One thing I think is kind of funny, we just passed in Wisconsin and it's called Burnett County and there's a big giant billboard and it says Burnett County, land of 10,000 tickets. Because, really? Yeah, <laughs> Minnesota is called the land of 10,000 lakes, but like all the people from Minnesota speed through Wisconsin to get here and it is kind of annoying. I don't like to speed through Wisconsin, but a lot of people do, so they put that billboard up and it makes me laugh every time. So right now we are in Siren, Wisconsin, stopping for some lunch at the Pheasant Inn. That's what it's mm -hmm. called, yeah. Yep. It's a little bar restaurant. I've been here in like 13 years, 14, 15 years, but oh wow. Last time I ate here, I remember it being really good. So I was like, well, today we'll stop. Yeah, Iris, what did you get for lunch? I get this. Ooh, it was it yummy? Mm -hmm. That's good. Can I play a game with you? <laughs> We're gonna eat and then we'll play games. She's all about the arcade. They have some arcade games over there. This burger is delicious. Mm -hmm. I got the Lambo burger. It has Swiss and mushrooms on it. And I haven't had a burger in so long, so I was like, I'm going for it. I'm getting a burger. I've been really good lately. Haven't you noticed that? Me too. Have you? Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. She's giving us a show while we eat. John's got some fresh water for Lala. Are you parched? <laughs> Is she a little bit parched? Oh, Just a tiny bit thirsty. The poor little Tiwari. So we're gonna be staying in the garage we're apartment. Going outside, yeah, we have to go to the main cabin. So yeah, so we're gonna be staying here in the garage apartment. And Lola came with us because she's our travel-sized dog. <laughs> 